What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Arcane episode 3. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Um, what are we doing? What, are, what, what, what happened last time? Sorry, I know what we're doing. Um, I literally just rewatched both episodes so where it ends was... Vi, almost said powder, Vi uh, gives herself up. Um, because she doesn't want her people to suffer any more than they already are. Um, Jace is teaming up with Victor to try to figure out. So his family comes from, what do they say, hammer makers? Or like, not hammer makers. Pretty much they make weapons. Okay, let's just put it that way. They make tools. Tool makers. That's what they said. Tool makers. But I think it's going to turn into weapons. Like, they're going to make those, like, crystal powered magical crystal powered weapons that you see in the intro um what victor's mm, incentives are or what, what his goals are i don't know but we'll find out i'm sure i just don't know if they're completely pure jace wants to make a better world victor's motives seem they're hidden but i think they're more personal and i think they're more selfish I don't know if he really cares about the betterment of the world as long as it's him that um, benefits. Uh, anything else? I don't know. I feel like that's it. So good, this show. So good, this show. Bro. Okay. I We have to do a review, but I think I might actually watch another episode after this, I'm just saying. Um, all right, where do I even start? Um, beginning of the episode, huh? So, yeah, Silco and Vander, they worked together. They were part of the same rebellion, if you will, war, whatever. They were on the same side, but Silco wanted to take things too far, I guess. That's the vibe that I'm getting here, right? Like, he, he mm, yeah, he wanted to take things farther. He didn't want to just stop at... I don't know. What did he want to like cross the line in certain ways? Did he want to do unethical things? Like I don't know. I mean, like it reminds me of '86 earlier today. You know, I want to win, but I want to win the right way. I don't want to win this way. Like if we're gonna throw our ethics to the fucking wind, like fuck it. Nope. We're just gonna do whatever we have to do to save our own ass. No. He wants to do it with the least the least amount of bloodshed and betray and. But yeah, betrayal and, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just get the idea of Vander just wants to do things as morally correct as he can. Um, anyway, I don't know. I need to get more on that. You don't really get why, like, he, we need more information. It was kind of vague. Um, I get the vibe, like, Silco's like, you weren't willing to do whatever it takes. It's like. You're never going to win against them. Just stop. No. Like, what What did you want? What did he say they wanted? He said, I want respect. That's what I want. Like, and in that, I think he also means, like, when you respect someone, you, you treat them, you're treating them probably with the way you want to be treated, right? Like, you want to be equals. You want to be given the same opportunities, the same luxuries as them up top. You know, why not? Why aren't they given the same? Why, why are they treated like this? Why? I don't know. I want to get the more information on like why they're so well off up there while down here they're living in poverty. Like they are just like their air is kind of toxic or polluted. Their water is toxic. He said the, the water, there's toxins in the water that, that, it hurt. He's like, it physically hurt. Do you understand how badly that hurt me? What you did to me? Like, you know, yeah, we were fighting, but like putting me in that fucking water when you knew what it was like, that's, that's fucked up. But then again, when you're fighting and you, you're trying to take out like this, you're trying to prevent this monster from being created or having his way with the world and making it what he will. I get it. You're, you gotta do what you gotta do, but this doesn't mean it's not fucked up. I, I kind of feel bad for Silco in that, right? Like, your brother betrayed you. Then again, did you do something to earn that betrayal? But was there another way? 
Was there a way where you didn't have to betray each other? I don't know. You were both stubborn in your own ways. No, neither one of you was willing to give. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not saying that you had to. I'm just saying what it is. I'm, I'm saying it like it is. You both were definitive in how you wanted to approach things in the future. And that's fine. Uh, I don't know which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way because at the end of the day, you, you need results, right? That's what that's what we want. And yeah, people are probably going to be upset with the way you got there, but in time, as fucked up as it is to say, people are going to just move the fuck on. Well, you know what? At least I can live nicely now. I, I mean, that's shitty. That's so shitty to say, but it's so true. Probably, hopefully, don't repeat that shit. Don't do it again. Learn from history, but... At the end of the day, this is like Silco's perspective, right? I'm going to do whatever it takes for our people to live fairly. And if I've got to break a few eggs, kill a few bitches, turn people into monsters along the way, then I'm going to do that. And I like how at the end you get that where, like, he's able to sympathize, empathize with, with Powder, you know? Like, her sister walked away from her and... I don't think it was right for Vi to walk away because Powder didn't know. Like, she she couldn't... Mm, she's a kid. She didn't fully understand the way that that shit worked. The crystal. She just wanted to help. She was told to stay home. Maybe she should have stayed home. But she didn't intentionally kill your friends. Your dad. Your... Not your dad. But we're gonna call him their dad. Fuck it. You know? He pretty much is. Um... And so I feel really bad for Powder and the way that her sister treated her. She slapped her. You're, he was right. Milo was right. You're a jinx. All that. Like, that was that was a horrible thing to say to her sister. And that's going to haunt her for the rest of her life. You know what I mean? Like, that's not going to go away. That You can't take back what you said, bitch. She was already, like, on the brink of, like, a mental breakdown i mean she already was having a mental breakdown but just i mean like fracturing like her mind was just going to actually break okay not breaking down but broke she's broken okay now she's broken and this guy is going to put her back together in whatever way benefits him benefits him the most and it just i get this vibe it's going to be a very joker harley quinn or Mm, uh, death stroke slash Tara relationship kind of going on where like I don't know how Powder's gonna look up to him I don't know if it's gonna be as a father figure or a love interest as fucked up or gross as that is but death stroke and Tara okay you can't tell me that shit doesn't happen okay I'm just saying um I just don't know you know, but I think she's definitely going to cling to him. She's not my sister anymore. Oh. And they made the hex tech. It worked out. And uh, what's her name? Medarda. She's like, she's down with the, sh with the shit. She's like, let's go, bitches. Because she was like, hey, what did um, Heimerdinger say? No, but this isn't the right way, boys. This isn't the path to the future for us. Mm -mm. I'm going to step in here, Mr. Heimerdinger. Madara, she's hilarious. The council will decide that, bitch. Step aside. <laughs> You're about to be outvoted because we already know she has a simp in there. What's his name? Oh, I forgot. But that guy in the council, like that shit's whoa, whoa. It's hilarious. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this shit. I can't wait to watch another episode. I think that's a decent enough review. I'm gonna end it here so I can record the next one. Uh, if this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Woo, the link for that is in the description below, so please check that out to support the channel. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.